Okay. Hey guys, CW Marine 15 here. This is Carolina Trekker. And uh, we found this really cool little shelf made out of a big rock and it's just tall enough for a person and you could probably squeeze two people in there. It's really neat, it can protect you from all sides, from the wind and the rain, and we decided we just wanted to make a little uh, shelter that you could sleep in overnight if you needed to. So we're gonna take a bunch of saplings like this and just lay it up over this shelf and build up some leaves. So I'm gonna go cut some saplings and Carolina Trekker will tell you the rest. All right, y'all, so what we're gonna be doing is, um, like CW Marine said, we're gonna take some of these, some little saplings like this and basically like a debris shelter or a lean-to, just lean them up against the shelf right here and we're gonna leave a, a, an opening right here in the front for a door and then you can put a fire right here if you needed to. Um, but basically what we, when we saw this um, little overhang right here, we thought that it would be a really good opportunity to show that, you know, maybe some of the native people that lived here um, centuries ago or you know anybody could could use this if it was you know there's a, some kind of storm going on anything um, this this overhang would be a good place to stay dry um, it's pretty level under here the uh, as soon as you come out there's a drop that goes down to a little creek bed so rain wouldn't be collecting underneath the shelter um, you wouldn't be getting soaked during the night so we're going to get some stuff uh, put together here, get some, some saplings, and um, we'll show you the rest. So stick with us. All right, hey guys. So this is what we got so far. We're just putting sticks up. Um, tonight, it would be a relatively warm night with no rain and no wind so it would be a very mild and so just for that reason we're not going to take too much time to throw too many leaves up over there because we're not going to need to stay that warm with our fire and all that stuff so we're going to throw just a couple handfuls of leaves up over the sides and in here is where the real warmth is going to be because we have all of this loose uh, grass that we have filled up in here and we filled it up with leaves. So with that and the rock reflecting all that heat, we really won't need all of that stuff. See, there's plenty of room, head and feet. This thing is probably 10 feet long and about six feet in. And it's only about, at its tallest, maybe like three feet. So it's a good size uh, shelter that we have going on in here. And you could fit two, possibly three people in here. You'd want to cram that many people in here if it was a really cold night. But uh, yeah, we'll get back to you when it's done. Hey guys, so the problem that we're having here is there's leaves and there's a lot of them. They're just not thick on the ground. As soon as you move your foot, it's just dirt. So we really only have one layer of leaves on the ground. So it would take up so much energy and we'd burn so many calories just to fill up and uh, cover our whole shelter that it really wouldn't be worth it in the end because we might be a little bit cold at night but the calories burnt keeping us warm wouldn't amount to the calories burnt getting all of those leaves on and that's strictly because of the weather this time of year if you were in a cold winter situation you would really want to spend the time to get all the leaves up there because that would be crucial so we're still working on the leaves though we're still going to try and we'll get back to you all right all right y'all so uh we got um we got our uh, our sticks up and we got some a little bit of debris on top of that um, what we did is we just kind of put um, a layer of leaves at the bottom just to keep um, heat from going out, seeping out down through the bottom. Um, now if you're here for a little bit longer than say overnight, if you needed to make this a little bit more permanent, um, what I would do is I would definitely make sure to cover the whole sides with leaves and debris 
And then what you might want to do is make a little little fire inside, um, a nice smoky fire, just to get um, get some smoke going through these leaves to clear out any creatures that are uh, still in them. Um, this shelter right now is probably, you know, it's big enough for two people, three if you really needed to. We put down a, a layer of, of grass down on the bedding, so it's a little bit dry in there, or it's it's pretty dry. And uh, so this is pretty much what it is. And we, when we started getting the, the saplings, um, we noticed that there was more more of dead dead sticks on the ground rather than uh, live saplings. So you know, um, you just gotta make do with what you got. And so uh, CW Marines. Um, he's laying down in there. He's probably got four feet at his feet down at the bottom, and then another two or three at the top, and another, well, he's at the back now, so he's probably got four feet from him to the door right here. Um, there's a little space for a, a fire right here if you wanted to um, have a fire during the night. So, uh, and you know, part of being a survivalist or, you know, even just enjoying the outdoors is kind of making do with what you got so uh, if you're in this situation you know kind of just improvise and that's how it goes so uh, thanks for tuning into our video this is just a, um, a quick debris shelter that uh, we came across this little shelf so um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more see you later Go ahead and turn it off.